Rich Rossi back here with you at the New York International Independent Film Festival. It is the last night of the festival, and often you'll hear say that people say you save the best for last. And in that case, we have certainly one of the best films of the festival that we've had screened, and we're very excited to have it as a part of the festival. Everybody knows what happened in 9-11. You know, it's a historical event that took place. And here we have a filmmaker, Joseph Angel, who captures some of the interviews of people after that. And we're very excited to have that as a part of our festival this year. Joseph Angel, welcome to the New York International Independent Film Festival. I know we've talked a number of times before and after uh, you know, I got to New York. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in filmmaking. Well, I've been in uh, filmmaking since I was, uh, I don't know, nine. <laughs> my first, my first uh, film camera was a 8 millimeter. Oh my goodness. My parents uh, the old decided. Way. Yeah, they old decided, they decided to uh, uh, get my own camera uh -huh. because I broke their camera. Ah. So, I, yeah, then I, I went to art school and they had a film and video program there. So from 9 to uh, for, 19? <laughs> no, to 13 actually. 13, okay. Yeah, but there was a, 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 an opportunity to work with some artists in the neighborhood and I did that for a couple of years before yeah. I went to high school. And then I went to the high school of art and design and then from there a couple of other colleges in the area and mm -hmm. just kept on moving up. And, and you're also uh, an artist as well. Oh yeah, yeah, painter. So and painter and, and martial artist. Martial artist, and yes. A lot of exciting things you do. So now tell us, uh, to bring us up to speed, I know we're about ready to uh, yes. start the feature here. Right. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about how this movie came about and what's, what we expect to see here tonight? Yes, the, uh, uh, the film was uh, shot uh, nine years ago uh -huh. as an uh, archive for my personal okay personal archive and Mr. Logan Thomas was editing one of my other films called dragonsrealm.movie.com <laughs> and uh, he came across the footage and he encouraged me to roll it out as a film uh -huh. and he composed the music oh, for the uh, piece and uh, it's just, it's uh, what the movie's about is four days after 9-11 wow. we decided to uh, go the to ash the, was still settling yeah no yeah it was just up in the air and all over the place uh -huh. and uh, we decided to go to the local firefighters to show so, some support mm -hmm. uh, but at that time people were still looking for uh, you know the missing people, they uh -huh. had things missing. Wow. Yeah. So, so they you thought it right an integral part of the whole process. Oh yeah, and you could see right in the people's faces uh -huh. as they're walking wow. from one firehouse wow. to the other, the people's faces, and uh -huh. it's just terror. Jesus. Yeah. It was well, that's, just... that's something to really take a look at. Now, um, the, the running time on this film is over an hour and it's about how many minutes? Uh, it's Seventy minutes. It's Seventy minutes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we've talked about distribution. I think this is something everybody should oh, see. Oh yeah, yeah. It's an so, emotional piece. Uh -huh. it, it's a, it's a movie about closure. Uh -huh. You know, like if, if people haven't had closure from 9 11, right. it certainly uh, it was an emotional process. It took me nine months to edit. Wow. Because I, I, I had to. I edit and then I had to walk away and then come back, mm -hmm. walk away and come back, and I did that for about a month. And, and hopefully you'll, you'll. Okay. Now, this is Logan over here. Yes. How are you doing? The score for the movie? Yes, I did the score and uh, your involvement with Joseph. Well, um, like you said, I was just working on uh, one of his other films, Dragon's Realm, and um, and uh, he showed me a clip of, of this, and you know he's a very humble man, and so he, yes. you know he, he showed me um, what it was. An artist. He's an artist, you know, and, and it was very emotional for him. So he, you know he was he had a hard time even even showing it to me, you know. But I said, dude, this is this is awesome, you know. This has the potential to be like just really stick with people because you know um, I'm from Michigan, and being in Michigan when the events happened. Um, it's. It, I figured it was. It was kind of hard to for people to um, really feel. You know what really happened here in New York. You know, in the 9/11 attacks. To really get an inside look of how people were reacting to it. Um, and the film is is excellent at um, just depicting. You know how how people were re responding and reacting to um, what was going on. Their families were, you know, in the rubble and all that. And so, you know, I was like, this is a, this could be a really. You guys could be brothers, no? Oh. <laughs> he's, he's my martial arts brother. Martial arts brother. I guess if you hang out with somebody, you start to look like them. Is that what it is? No. Well, by, by the way, a lot of a lot of the uh, uh, songs on the film is being released in the iTunes. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Logan and I are working. On yeah, we have a whole soundtrack coming oh, out. Oh, yeah, track. So yeah, so it's it's really about closure. Yeah. A lot of the songs yeah. are about lifting and moving on and healing. It's really emotional. I hope get to come and see it and if oh, not I'm pick sure up I, I'm sure everybody's going to see it it's going to probably go international this is oh, a, yeah. everybody has an interest in what happened yeah. and as you know it's just uh, one of those world events that like you know the attack of Pearl Harbor you know yeah. captured something very uh, special there 
hopefully it is a healing process and everything. Well, we are certainly looking forward to this. This has been a buzz that's been going on since I talked to Joe some months back, and I'm very excited about you know having an opportunity to finally see the film. So uh, with no further ado, I'd like to say on behalf of the New York International Independent Film Festival, I'm Rich Rossi with Joseph Angel yes. and Logan. Logan, what's your last name? Thomas, Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas, all I right. Say Mr. Rossi has brought me through the whole process. He's been patient with me and <laughs> he's just awesome. I mean, he called me up almost every other a week uh, for about three or four months and just brought me through the whole process. It was nerve wracking <laughs> for me. And he's been patient, very patient with me. I've been crazy as a filmmaker, as you guys are, you should know already. I'm from the See what a little money will do if you pay the right people to say the right things. No, that's no. not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you, Mr. That's, very, that's very kind of you, Joseph. You. We are certainly looking forward to it. It's quite a film, so keep your eyes open looking for that movie, and it's viewed from Sunset Park. All righty. Thank you so much.